Hello everyone! In this short video I would like to tell you about our recent research project that got funded by the ASF. Ingeman syndrome is caused by the lack of a functional UBTA protein. The UBTA protein comes actually in two variants, which we call isoforms. This has been known for some time, but only recent research discovered that these two isoforms of UBTA travel to different locations in the neuron. In typically developing humans, one of the UBTA isoforms travels to the synapses, which are the points where neurons in the brain intersect and are told what to do. Recent discoveries showed that the other UBTA isoforms goes to the nucleus of the neuron, where all the DNA is located. In individuals with Ingeman syndrome, we know that UBTA is not functioning properly, or even entirely absent, but we do not know which isoform of UBTA is primarily responsible for causing Ingeman syndrome. Is it the isoform that goes to the synapse, or is it the isoform that goes to the nucleus? Or are both isoforms equally important? To address, to address this question, we will evaluate two types of mice. One type of mouse is missing the synapse isoform, but keeping the nuclear isoform intact. And another mouse is missing the nuclear isoform, but keeps the synapse isoform intact. This allows us to investigate how each isoform impacts the neurological function of these mice. We hope that this project sheds new light on the importance of each isoform's function. This in turn is very important because it will help us to narrow our focus in identifying potential therapies for treating Ingeman syndrome. Well, it's uh, really a pleasure to uh, make some comment on Dr. Algersma's research work. Um, he's uh, built a really strong team and done an excellent job in recent years. In this project, he's uh, approaching the question about isoforms, which there are at least two different forms in which the Angelman protein can uh, occur. There's a uh, an older report um, that uh, the Ingeman protein can function as a co-activator, which if correct would mean it would have a role in the nucleus. Most of the attention up to now has been on the role of the Ingeman protein at the synapse. Uh, I think the idea that Dr. Algosma wants to know which isoforms go where and what do they do is all uh, very important and um, uh, substantial. Um, I've been rather outspoken that Angelman is uh, a very good candidate disorder for some really definitive correction or treatment, uh, particularly because one could activate the paternal copy of the gene as a, a treatment strategy. However, in that treatment strategy, one would like to know if we activate the paternal copy of the gene, is it forming isoform 1 and isoform 2 or just one or the other? Uh, and we would hope that it would do whatever the maternal gene would do in the very same way. For gene therapy, this is an even more critical uh, question, as one has to decide whether the gene therapy vector should express isoform 1 or isoform 2 or both and so on. So I think that Dr. Elgersman's work is very central to all the efforts trying to develop a, a, a definitive treatment for Angelman syndrome.